Hi everyone, thanks again for tuning in to Pugs and Stilettos. Today I am going to be making for you out of vinyl uh, table placemats uh, one of these traveler's journals. These are actually the uh, notebooks that you can purchase at the dollar store that look like this. They come in a set of three, they have 50 pages, and they are lined kind of like the Mead uh, composition notebooks really cute and these were just the notebooks decorated if you are interested I will definitely link a video that I have where I uh, decorated these notebooks but very briefly I'm going to make this cover for the travelers notebook kind of like the uh, pocket size or the uh, a little bit smaller than the passport size but here we go so I have two and um, I will also be showing how I make these bows as well this one I have to iron but yep so the sheet that I uh, used and I already started to cut was um, this one which I found at the dollar store you probably saw it in a haul that I did recently as I have stated there are so many things that I have been purchasing especially from Hobby Lobby that I uh, really have to get uh, videos up and running to show you and justify all of the shopping that I have been doing so without further ado like I said we're going to be using these little notebooks the measurements of these little notebooks is 323 and a quarter by four and a half. So I want to use about three of these notebooks, which is what I showed you in the um, smaller, uh, in the journals that I just showed you. So what I did was I cut out from this placemat. I don't know if you could see it, but it's like a holographic 3D. It's kind of cool at the same time. It's a little annoying. <laughs> so I, um, ended up cutting out a piece uh, five inches in height and eight and a quarter wide. All right, so this is just all the pieces that I ended up cutting. I did use my um, cutting board and you do have to score as well just to help it along. So being that this material is a little um, weird, it's not as flexible as the other one that I had done, uh, like this one. This is what I made the other journals on. It's a little bit more like a like a vinyl. This is more a little harder plastic, so you kind of have to help it along and then try to score it. Um, I actually strung these journals a little differently than I do my normal journals, like these that have the uh, three holes. Um, but I don't I don't string it like this. I actually tried it this way, and it's only one piece of string all the way through. Uh, instead of two separate pieces of string and four um, different separate elastics. So here we go. So the first thing that we're going to do, like I said, we have um, five in height, eight and a quarter um, wide. We're going to punch our holes. So I'm going to use my crocodile for this. I also have the uh, crocodile to the bigger one because I'm going to need that to punch the middle one. But we're going to use a uh, one eighth inch um, hole and we're going to pick a really cute color here let's go for a green so I need about two here two here one of them is I need five so let's go for kind of like this fluorescent green so we'll go for that green I don't see any more here this is gonna be fun picking these out They're so tiny I'm not too pleased with these. I bought them on Amazon, pretty cheap. I guess you get what you pay for. Um, I'm using the uh, 1 8 of an inch hole. I'm gonna take the lock off of this. And I need two holes here, two holes here, one above the other. So one there, one here. And we'll come on this side. This way these holes are even. So we have two here and two here. Um, I'm also going to use, this is the crocodile um, uh, two, and I'm gonna use this one for the hole in the center. I'm gonna move these aside. And um, I'm gonna line this up. Move this over. If any of you can give me any pointers on a better way to line these things up. I really can't see, so I have to kind of like lay sideways to be able to see what I'm doing. 
So now I'm going to use these really cute green. Um, I really wasn't using them because uh, on the other ones that I did. But uh, let's see how they go. This one is so there. Okay, so. Um, very quickly. I don't know what's going on with my. Um, Proper dye, but it keeps popping open. So, I hope that the it doesn't break the um, the elastic. These are the worst eyelids I have ever seen. Where's my scissor? See when you have all this fancy stuff. Sometimes a good old, this is what you have to do. Okay, now that we finally have all of these eyelets in, I have to say these eyelets are pretty cheap. I hope they don't end up breaking my elastic, but here we go. So you're going to use one um, elastic. I generally don't measure. I always like to pick a little bead from my stash. These I got from Michael's. And I'm going to put some, something warm and happy. So I'm going to go in through here. We're going to thread the bead through. You're gonna come back in through here. All I do is I just move the elastic to the side, push it in through, and here we go. That kind of holds it so it doesn't slip all the way. Okay, so plenty. So what you do is this is gonna hold it there. So you're gonna go in through here, in through here. here and through here okay so this is a one elastic but I'll show you how you'll end up getting more so what you have to do is this is awfully long so you want to pull some of it out because it's where you're gonna end up tying you want to pull some of it out pull there we go. this one and pull it out from here because this is what you're going to use to tie your notebook. All right, so you're going to hold on to this, you're going to close this, you're going to turn this around, and it's pretty loose, so we can pull this way, and that's pretty good. So you'll take it here, you'll cut this off. Couple, of course, you're gonna trim these down. So at this point, you can only put one. However, I'll show you what I did with this one. What you do is you cut an elastic. See that? You'll thread it through this one. You'll open this one. Thread it through this one as well. So now you have two of this. You'll take this and you put the two of this. And voila. You have yourself a three notebook travels journal. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Thumbs up would be appreciated. And any comments, uh, constructive criticism is greatly uh, welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in to Pugs and Stilettos. Be well.